Good morning ladies and gentlemen. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs of 13th June, which North American country has decided to ban single-use plastics from 2021. Right answer is Canada. So recently, Canada has announced that harmful single-use plastics will be banned from 2021. If we talk about Canada, recently it was in news as a new US Mexico Canada agreement has been signed to replace NAFTA. NAFTA stands for North American Free Trade Agreement. Canada is also a member of G7 group. The other members are Germany, France, UK, US, Italy, Japan. And recently, Italy became the first G7 member to officially join Belt and Road Initiative of China. G7 group was also in news as France is the host of G7 summit this year. Canada was also in news as it is a member of Arctic Council. The other members are USA, Denmark, Iceland, Norway, Sweden, Finland and Russia. And recently Arctic Council was in news as India has been re-elected as an observer to Arctic Council. Apart from that recently Arctic region was in news as Russia launched first Arctic train service. The name of this train service was Jaren Gold. Which of the following banks has introduced repo linked home loan product? Right answer is State Bank of India. So recently, State Bank of India decided to introduce a repo rate linked home loan products from 1st of July. Earlier, State Bank of India had linked its deposit rates to the RBI's repo rate. If we talk about RBI, recently, six member monetary policy committee of RBI has reduced the repo rate by 25 basis points. So the present repo rate is 5.75% and reverse repo is 5.50. MSF and bank rate are 6%. Answer in comment box, who was the Prime Minister of India when RBI was nationalized? Now coming back to SBI, recently SBI was in news as it launched India's first green car loan to encourage customers to buy electric vehicles. SBI was also in news as RBI has given the status of DSIB to SBI, ICICI and SDFC. DSIB stands for Domestic Systematically Important Banks. Mount Sinabung is located in which of the following islands of Indonesia? Right answer is Sumatra. So Mount Sinabung is located on the Sumatra island of Indonesia. And recently it was in news because of eruptions. Actually Mount Sinabung is among Indonesia's most active volcanoes. Indonesia was also in news because of volcanic eruptions in Anak Kharakatu. If we talk about geographical location of Indonesia, it is an Asian country and the capital of Indonesia is Jakarta. Answer in comment box. The Strait of Malacca is between Malaysia and which island of Indonesia? Indonesia was also in news as recently Mr. Joko Widodo has been re-elected as the President of Indonesia. Apart from that, the first ever high-level dialogue on Indo-Pacific cooperation was held in Indonesia in Jakarta and the theme was towards a peaceful, prosperous and inclusive region. Indonesia was also in news as recently five rhino range nations signed New Delhi declaration on Asian rhinos. These five countries are India, Bhutan, Nepal, Indonesia and Malaysia. Apart from that, Indonesia was also in news as recently tea associations of five countries formed Asian Tea Alliance and this alliance was launched in China. The five countries are India, China, Indonesia, Sri Lanka and Japan. India's first dinosaur museum come park is located in which of the following states? Right answer is Gujarat. So India's first dinosaur museum and fossil park has recently inaugurated by Gujarat Chief Minister Mr. Vijay Rupani. If we talk about Gujarat, recently it was in news as India has partnered with Portugal to set up a National Maritime Heritage Museum at ancient Indian site of Lothal in Gujarat. Apart from that, Gujarat was also in news as Prime Minister Mr. Modi launched National Common Mobility Card in Gujarat. Gujarat was also in news because of its decision to launch trading system with incentive for low polluting industries. This is a first of its kind of initiative. 
Apart from that, the Gujarat government has decided to equip the traffic police with laser guns for the detection of overspeeding by the vehicles. Gujarat was also in news because of Cyclone Vayu, which country has decided to conduct its first ever simulated space warfare exercise in space X. Right answer is our country. So recently, it was in news that India is planning to conduct its first ever simulated space warfare exercise in space X. This will be in the last week of July and it will be under the integrated defense staff of defense ministry. If we talk about few other news related to space activities, recently US President Mr. Trump signed an executive order SPD-4 to establish Space Force as a new military service within Department of Air Force. Apart from that recently, the commercial arm of ISRO was launched in Bengaluru in Karnataka. ISRO stands for Indian Space Research Organization and the name of commercial arm is New Space India Limited. ISRO was also in use because of UVIKA initiative. UVIKA stands for Yuva Vigyani Karyakram that means Young Scientist Program. ISRO chairman is Dr. K. Sivan. Apart from that, if we talk about few other news related to space, recently China launched a space rocket from a sea and China became the third country to demonstrate capabilities to launch satellites from a floating platform. Earlier, Russia and USA have demonstrated such capabilities. If we talk about China, recently China was in news because of extradition bill. Actually, Hong Kong people are protesting against this extradition bill. Hong Kong is a semi-autonomous region. Before 1997, it was under British. However, after 1997, it is under China. Now, as per this new extradition bill, the suspects accused of crimes such as murder and rape will be extradited to mainland China to face trial. And that's why the people of Hong Kong are protesting against this bill. Guadalajara International Book Fair, which is in news recently, is scheduled to be held in which of the following countries? Right answer is Mexico. So India has been designated as guest of honor at 33rd Guadalajara International Book Fair. It will be in Mexico. If we talk about Mexico, recently it was in news as ex-president Ms. Pratibha Patil has been conferred the Order of Aztec Eagle. This is the highest civilian award of Mexico given to foreigners. If we talk about geographical location of Mexico, it is North American country and the capital of Mexico is Mexico City. Who has been elected as the new president of Kazakhstan? Right answer is Kasim Jomar Tokayev. So Mr. Kasim Jomar Tokayev has won the 2019 presidential election of Kazakhstan. Recently, Kazakhstan renamed its capital Astana after the name of ex-president. So what is the new name of Kazakhstan's capital? If we talk about few other political leaders which were in news recently, recently Mr. Priyut Chan Ocha became the new Prime Minister of Thailand. On the other hand, Mr. Nai Bukele became the new President of El Salvador and Mr. James Marape became the new Prime Minister of Papua New Guinea. On the other hand, Mr. Volodymyr Zelensky became the new President of Ukraine and Mr. Cyril Ramaphosa got re-elected as the President of South Africa and Mr. Scott Morrison got re-elected as the Prime Minister of Australia. The scientists of which US university have created a global map of where groundwater meets ocean? Right answer is Ohio State University. So recently, the researchers from Ohio State University in USA have created high resolution maps of the points where groundwater meets oceans. Who has been appointed as new Director General of Bureau of Police Research and Development. Right answer is Mr. V. S. Kamudi. So Mr. V. S. Kamudi has been appointed as new Director General of BPRND. If we talk about BPRND, it is Bureau of Police Research and Development. It was formed in 1970 and MHA, that is Ministry of Home Affairs, is the parent organization of BPRND. Recently, MHA was in news as it extended ban on LTTE for another period of 5 years. LTTE stands for Liberation Tigers of Tamil Elam and it has been declared an unlawful association under Unlawful Activities Prevention Act of 1967. MHA was also in news as recently it decided to discard 
its blacklist of Indian origin people. Apart from that, recently, MHA amended Foreigners Tribunal Order of 1964 and now it has empowered district magistrates in all states and union territories to set up tribunals. The objective of these foreigner tribunals will be to decide whether a person staying illegally in India is a foreigner or not. So now, district magistrates in all states and union territories of India will have this power to constitute foreigner tribunal. Earlier, this power was vested only with the central government. Who will be the pro tem speaker of 17th Lok Sabha? Right answer is Mr. Virendra Kumar. So Mr. Virendra Kumar from Madhya Pradesh will be the pro tem speaker of 17th Lok Sabha. Mr. Kumar is a seven-term member of parliament. If we talk about pro tem speaker, Usually, the senior most member of the house is elected as a pro tem speaker. In case of parliament, the president administers the oath of office of pro tem speaker, while in case of states, governor administers the oath of office of pro tem speaker. The main responsibility of pro tem speaker is to administer the oath of newly elected members. Apart from that, the pro tem speaker also enables the house to elect a new speaker. So, when a new speaker is elected, the office of pro tem speaker ceases to exist. That means the office of pro tem speaker is temporary. So, Mr. Virendra Kumar is the pro tem speaker of 17th Lok Sabha. Answer in comment box who became the youngest member of parliament of 17th Lok Sabha. So, these were the most important current affairs of the day. Thank you, and that's all for the day.